Hello and welcome to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Alright, last time we, um, what do we do again? Alright, we just cleared out all the treasure for all the dragons in the actual home pot area of the artisan world. Now, there's a total of three levels, um, one boss and one boss and one bonus level in every single world. And I'll be tackling them all in order as I mentioned in the previous episode. So, this first episode we're going to be tackling Stone Hill. I don't know if I'll we'll have time to do any of us, but we'll see. So here we go, entering Stonehill. Yeah, we'll add all the treasure you've collected to um, your total treasure every time you enter or leave a level. Alright. I like this level. I don't know if this level wasn't in the demo. You'd think it would be the first level, but I remember when I first played the Spider Dragon demo, this level wasn't in it. Oh, and those rams, by the way, you can either charge into it, or, uh, what's it called, I keep saying spray, or breathing on him. Yeah, he has bad breath. I apologise, that was a sh crap joke. Uh, anyway, let's take care of these. There's three pathways here, I'll be taking this one first. Get it. Oh, you're kidding me. This is a perfect example to demonstrate how the butterflies work. You spray these, get a butterfly, sparks, returns, goes Restores health. I don't know what's wrong with me, I'm tongue tied today. Alright, so here we go. These are metal ones, by the way, so you can't um, breathe on it. So you just charge them too much, just go in a circle like this. There we go. What does this guy say? Lindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. Uh -huh. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Yes. Yeah, there's, um... Yeah, I already told you that in the previous episode, but... Whatever. Why was he standing in the middle of this room? Because remember, all these dragons got frozen where they were. Um, so why was he just standing in the middle of this room? Also, I, I don't understand. Oh, well. Some of these dragons are in really strange areas. We'll go and jump into there a bit later. Right, let's go over here. What's in here? Oh, another dragon. At least one's a bit more regular and more in the open. Still, these dragons are conveniently placed. Get it. Aster. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamay, digger. It'll take you back to the artisan hall. <clears throat> but first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. I just love that voice. I don't know why, but I always like stereotypical old men characters in video games. I won't torture you with my old man impression. Alright, um, get all these. Oh, come on. And here's a key. And what a key does, is a key essentially, there's a locked, uh, in some, most levels, I think it's most levels anyway, you, ha you have a locked chest which has a bunch of treasure in. And the only way to open it is to find the key within that level. And well, here it is. If you leave the level now, um, then you won't be able to, you'll lose the key. You can only keep the key within this level. Alright, and that's a return home. That, like, as, as the um, Aster mentioned, uh, that you just jump in this to return back to the home world, but we don't want to do that yet. We've still got um, a lot of treasure to get. Well, not that much. I'm surprised how fast I'm going through this, actually. A lot of treasure, well, not that much treasure to get, and two other dragons, so we'll be doing that first. There's only one more doorway to go for. Oh wait, no, wait, wait, sorry, I forgot. Now I've got to go in here, this little hole. The reason I wait to go in here is because... Let me all this. There's the locked uh, box right there. Let's open it up. The key will just automatically go in it when you get close. And the treasure will come out. Alright, let's, let's get some dragon. Gavin! What's the dragonfly, Spyro? His color indicates his power. Is he just scratching his armpit he eats then? butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. How did Nasty Norks crystallizing laser thing get all the way down this well or wherever the hell it is? It doesn't make any sense. But okay, I'll, I'll stop, stop challenging um, the position to these dragons because it's going to be a lot worse than that. Alright, so here we go for the final one. Uh, what, what's that? Sound. Some evil laughing thing. 
Oh, we'll see what that is later. Let's go over here. Take care of all these rams. I'll take care of the old shepherds later. I don't know. Oh, crap. Oh, come on, just charge for it all. I love charging in this game. It's so useful. Okay, now the shepherds. They'll just do a, like a low sweep on, on you. Well, normally you can jump over it. What? I'm sure you could normally jump. Okay, or well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe you can't jump over it. Oh well. To be honest, I don't normally give them a chance. I'm just spraying straight away. Oh, come on. Might as well fully heal while I'm here. I've got this magical trail thing. Hey. How about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid flight. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah. Just that. Yeah. I think I told you that before. I'm not sure. That, that guy was cheerful. I, I liked him. He was good. So you just press triangle, drop down like that. It's, you know, he's, he's, he, he, he reminds me of the kind of guy you'd you know, go to a party or something and just cheer everyone up. You know? Everyone will be dull and sad, and he just be like, Hey, come on in, have some fun. And, all that. and then yeah, everyone will suddenly be happy. Okay, anyway, that na -na 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 sound was this dragon egg thief. He's dressed in yellow, as you can see. And it's kind of a spoiler, it's a dragon egg, but whatever. Well, it's not really, it's kind of obvious, but yeah, you just spray him or charge into him, and you get this egg. They're quite easy to catch, but there are some tricky ones later. And you can't go any further because of these little barrier things. Um, I think I've got all the treasure over here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I remember when I first played this, I always used to get annoyed at this part of the game because, you know, it's so, it's so much, it's quite wide, the fields are quite wide, so, you know, you'd miss, it's easy to miss like a one or two pieces of treasure, but I think I've got this place down now so I can get, get it all with relative ease. I'll just go around all the way around this castle bit. Place it all. There's four more treasure. There's three of it. There's one more over here, yeah. And there you go. That's all this treasure. 200 out of 200. Fairly simple level. The price actually took 7 minutes. Alright, let's take this 200 out of 200, 4 out of 4, and 1 dragon egg, yeah. Uh, as you can see, that little indicate uh, the bar thing with all the dragon eggs and the crosses indicates how many uh, dragon eggs you've collected and how many are left. There's a total of. Wait, what is that? Four, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Oh, so yeah. This. Wait, how many was that again? Sorry, what the hell's wrong with me? I can't count today. Oh, yeah, twelve. I thought it was twelve. Yeah. So there's twelve like, dragon eggs. We've got one out of twelve dragon eggs. How many drag? Uh, eight dragons released and three hundred treasure. So let's just go to the return home and yeah, go to the next level. Nice sky. So we get a 300 treasure. Now my next level is uh, a personal favourite of mine, uh, which I will travel to now. But before I do that, uh, I'll show you what happens when you defeat enemies before you defeat it. Since, since we've come back from the home world, all the enemies have returned, but now they don't give treasure, they give you these weird pearls. Basically these pearls, um, what's it called, these, you just collect enough of them and you can gain a life. As you can see the pearls go all the way around Spyro's head on the life meter. And once we go around, I can't remember exactly the exact amount of pearls, but I'm guessing it's about 20, 25. That's when you can get a life. Uh, you won't encounter that much if you don't keep revisiting. So anyway, here's the next level, Dark Hollow. Like I said before, a personal favourite of mine, but we won't be doing this just yet. I'm going to be waiting on this, and because there's just not enough time, there's no point starting it now. So we'll take, take on Dark Hollow and hopefully another level next time on Let's Play Spyro Dragon.